Hey guys, Dr. Kamal. I got an exciting new series here. Um, I'm going to be presenting to you guys um, an ultrasound video series that will go through the various different uh, anatomy and pathologies related to the foot and ankle. Uh, so today, for the first one, we're going to start with the most common thing that, we'll, that podiatric physicians will see in the clinic, and that's plantar fasciitis. Uh, so it's important for uh, clinicians to get used to the concept of using an ultrasound machine for plantar fasciitis because there are other conditions that uh, we may be treating for plantar fasciitis when really it could be a plantar fibroma, uh, calcaneal heel syndrome, uh, things of that nature. And uh, we want to make sure that we're treating what we think we're treating and we also want to confirm our diagnosis with something that's quick and easy to use. All right, so for uh, using an ultrasound machine to uh, to diagnose and um, treat the plantar fasciitis. It's important that your patient's in the prone position. It can be done in the supine position. However, it's a little bit difficult with handling the foot. So I like to put the patient in the prone position. And it's very simple. Um, take your ultrasound uh, probe and in the longitudinal axis, place onto the, um, the heel <clears throat> and move your way towards the midfoot. So you're gonna see here um, a thin hyperechoic band coming from the, the calcaneus and the thickness of your, of your band should be around four millimeters. That's what's considered normal. Anything above that is considered thickened and abnormal and can, you can say it's plantar fasciitis. So this you can see here on the monitor. All right, so now we're looking at a normal sonographic appearance of the plantar fascia. The plantar fascia is seen as a hyperechoic band of tissue containing fine internal fibril architecture originating from the medial tubercle of the calcaneus. Normally, the plantar fascia is of uniform thickness, typically measuring about 4 millimeters in thickness, as I've mentioned before. The plantar aspect of the calcaneus is normally smooth with a rounded margin, as seen here in the picture. Okay, now in this image we see... This is a longitudinal image of the plantar fascia demonstrating mild plantar fasciitis. There is thickening and decreased echogenicity of the plantar fascia at the calcaneus. Normally, the plantar fascia, like mentioned before, should measure 4 millimeters at the calcaneal origin. And in this image, you can see that it's clearly thickened. Note the presence of a small spur along the base of the calcaneus as well. Blind cortisone injections can result in interfascial deposition and have been associated with plantar fascial rupture. In this longitudinal extended field of view image in a patient with heel pain, you can see that there is a complete rupture of the plantar fascia as noted by the arrow in the, in the picture. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Until next time.